This is Chippy from UMC Portal with the Villiv X70 UMPC. I'm going to try and uh, give you a quick demo of the on screen keyboard here. We're starting in the Cube UI interface. Uh, you might have seen that before. It's uh, quite a useful uh, user interface for putting shortcuts and applications that can be easily accessed. Let's start to Firefox. You'll see it starts pretty quickly. Now there's a button on the bottom left hand side here. You see that for press that brings up the keyboard tab or the keyboard, depends how you closed it down last time but if I click on, click on that then you can see the keyboard there. So let's uh, let's try a few things, let's do a little uh, search first UMPC, enter and uh, hide as you can see no problem there. Um, let's try doing a URL, www. Now here's a problem here, it's got a in, um, a notification window has popped up over the top of the keyboard, so I now have to uh, click the notification window down and uh, actually refocus the cursor and then carry on. Portal.com and uh, sorry, I put it in the Google search box there, but uh, there you can see. Um, so the keyboard is not too bad as long as the uh, notifications don't come up and of course if you've got things like Twitter running, Google Talk, all the notifications come up on the, the right hand side here which actually obscures, obscures the keyboard. Uh, I don't know if there's a way whether you can raise or force the keyboard to raise over the top of everything else but uh, so far I haven't uh, seen that. Let's uh, go into Notepad, I'll quickly just type some, some stuff, it will be uh, a little bit difficult because I'm sitting behind the, the camera, but I'll give it a give it a um, give it a shot. Right then, so keyboard, get the focus. This is a test. In fact, what I'll do is I'll actually put the font format right up so you can see maybe what's going on as well on the screen. Right, enter this. Uh, is space A. You might be able to hear the uh, haptic feedback as well. Annoys my wife. <laughs> you can turn that off. So for normal text, it's actually pretty good. Problem comes when you start to use uh, numerics and special characters, and you have to hit mode. Uh, and it, for example, if you want an ampersand sign, you hit mode, and then you have to hit shift, and then two. So it's actually quite a number of uh, key presses. But having said that, you're not likely to be using this for for creating too much more than a short email or a, an instant message or a URL or a password. So actually, the on-screen keyboard is pretty pretty okay for that. And uh, as I said, I find it better than the uh, the Villiv S5. So that's the uh, on-screen keyboard for the X70.